yeah, yeah, I know it's a hair channel, but um, it's also my channel, so I kind of, uh, I'm going to share just some um, personal things that I'm going through right now and that um, I'm going to work on. Why is this zoomed in so much? Ah, there we go. So, let's face it, I'm overweight. Um, I'm a size 14, 16, and um, about three years ago I had lost some weight. And when my son went away to college, I started to gain it back because I was depressed. And also, I'm just greedy. I love, um, I love to eat. I love ice cream and I love sweets and I need to cut back because really I need to be at least 50 pounds below where I'm at right now. And um, yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm 200, probably like 206 to be honest. And I'm going through a depression. I look in the mirror and I just want to cry half the time. Or um, I see pictures that like my family members have taken and I go through their pictures and I delete them because it's, it's, I'm just not happy with it. And if I'm not happy with it, then what's my excuse for not changing it um, aside from pure laziness? And um, so I'm gonna work on it. And what I've done is I've packed my gym bag and I'm gonna start going back to the gym early in the mornings. And if I have my gym bag in my purse or my car at all times, completely ready to go, I have no excuse not to do it. If a doctor came to me tomorrow and said, Rebecca, if you don't lose weight, you're gonna die. You're gonna die in the next five months. Would I get my butt up and do it then? You doggone jippy. I have no excuse not to conquer this weight problem that I have right now. I have no reason not to feel good about myself except for sheer, pure laziness. And so I wanna get on it because I am depressed and I don't feel good about myself. And I'm embarrassed to say that I've just gotten lazy. So that's the reason that you don't see my chubby self from the uh, neck down very often because I'm ashamed of um, my body. And you know, I don't care if you know we've seen worse. It's about how I feel. And um, I deserve to feel good about myself and nobody can change that except for me. So that's my goal and um, I'm gonna be sharing some of my journey here and there's gonna be days where I'm gonna be lazy and there's days that I'm gonna not want to do it but I need to do it because in order for me to just feel good um, inside and out I need to motivate myself and I need to stay on top of it I you know I make excuses because of the fact that um I had a hysterectomy about six years ago and that's when my weight started to kind of go up and um, just kind of getting into the hysterectomy thing, I had fibroids. I was in tremendous pain all the time and it, it, it had to be done. So once you do that, of course, you start to you know slowly go and get pushed into menopause or you go into full on menopause, which means that you know your body just kind of starts to go blah on you. And so I've gotten the belly fat and I've gotten, and so for me, I need to step it up plain and simple there's no other um, if ands or buts about it so um, I'm going to probably do like just a once a week update and um, let you guys know how I'm doing with that I'm still going to continue to do my hair my hair blogs and um, thank you guys for all the recommendations today is going to be the closing for the giveaway so um, I'll be closing that down that video next down that video down next and then I'll be choosing a winner either today or tomorrow so thank you guys for everything um, today I use Darcy Botanicals in my hair and I absolutely love the way it made my hair feel I want to go back to the Carol's Daughter video um, either the caviar curls or the Carol's Daughter one of those two items left my hair feeling horribly horribly dry so I washed that stuff out that afternoon um, although my hair looked good it didn't feel good at all I mean it just felt hard and brittle and dry so um, I don't recommend using those two products together um, so yeah I just really don't want to use either one of them again to be honest with you because I have found so many other things that make my hair feel soft this honestly just makes my hair feel good and I like um, just the definition that I get with Darcy's Botanical Cream Gel. That's what it is. So I'll give you guys a review on that soon. Um, I've used it before, but 
I have a feeling it's going to be one of my regulars unless of course they've sold or they've discontinued it because when I looked on Cromart and when I looked at Darcy's Botanicals they both say out of stock so that freaks me out just a tiny bit but I'll find out and let you guys know. Um, other than that this has just kind of been a here and there and everywhere video. Thanks for watching. Thank you guys for all the support and um, I love you guys. Bye.